Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to look at three Google Docs formatting tips. These are all based on questions that I commonly receive either in workshops or in my email. So let's go ahead and get started with our page setup. So from the file menu, we'll go to page setup. And here we can switch from default portrait to landscape. We can choose a different paper size. We can change the page background color, and we can change our margin setting. We can put in a bigger margin if we want to. We'll make a larger bottom margin. Now, any change you make, you can set as the default for all future documents, or you can use it on a case-by-case -case basis, which is what I'm going to do here. So this change will only apply to this document here. It'll be landscape with one and a half inch margins on the top and bottom. So our next formatting trick that we're going to take a look at is here in the tools menu. I want to go to the preferences setting. And here you can select to have links automatically detected or not. And that's a really useful feature if you're having students write documents that include a lot of links to sources so they don't have to automatic they don't have to go in and format those themselves it will automatically be detected you can also say automatically detect lists now that feature is one that you may or may not like depending on uh, how much control you want to have over the list formatting I personally leave it turned off and here you can choose any number of things to be replaced automatically so the fractions will automatically be re replaced with a smaller fraction uh, you could also add something if you wanted to let's say you want to have uh, the word pound replaced with the pound symbol and you could have that automatically appear I am not going to use that one so I'm going to delete it now click OK and our last formatting tip deals with using pictures in documents. Let's go to the insert menu and choose image. I'm going to upload a picture here. Now that picture is way too big for my purposes. So I'm going to click on it once and then click and drag the corners of it. And I'll make it smaller. And then I can go in and I can crop the image even further if I wanted to. Maybe I want to crop out some of the space at the top and crop out some of the space at the bottom. And I can certainly do that. And you'll see we have a little image mask there. Now I'll just click over here and now it's cropped. I can click on that again and I can now put some lines around it. I can change it to dotted lines around it if I want to. And the last thing that we can do here is we can say we want the text to be in line or we can wrap text around. We can switch it back. We can wrap text. So those are three simple Google Docs formatting tips that every student needs to know. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.